You're watching Focus on South Florida. Welcome back to Focus. The MCCJ was founded in 1935 as the Miami Coalition of Christians and Jews. It promotes understanding of all faiths, races, and cultures through education advocacy and conflict resolution. Its Silver Medallion Award honors local people who have diverse backgrounds but share a common thread, extraordinary humanitarian work. Five special South Floridians will be recognized next Saturday. And we are fortunate to have one of the recipients here this morning on Focus. Kimberly Green is the president of the Green Family Foundation. And also please welcome to Focus, Jarrett Davis. He is the Humanitarian Dinner Chair. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. So tell us a little bit about the foundation, first of all. The Green Family Foundation. Yes. Well, the foundation was founded by my father in 1994. And he founded it originally to um, serve the community, people that have given but went above and beyond their call, so social, um, social workers, nurses, police officers, and it was managed through the United Way. And the United Way did a wonderful job, but when I moved back to Miami after college, we decided we wanted to have a little more of a personal touch and to reflect the views of our family a little bit more than just um, giving it into the hands of someone else. So we started kind of pounding the pavement and meeting people one-on-one -on -one and face-to-face. -face. And I was working directly with people at Habitat for Humanity and kind of the blue chip charities in the beginning until I sort of found my, my feet and my way. And then um, we sort of dove in head first and into what we are now. Excellent. And tell, tell us why you got involved. Sure. Well, the organization MCCJ, as you mentioned, has an incredible pedigree. It's one of the oldest nonprofits in, in South Florida, back to 1935. And the original uh, genesis of it was to fight anti Semitism and anti Catholicism back then. That was rampant. And over the many, many decades, we have taken that, that initial core and translated that to full celebration of inclusivity and diversity. So it's, I know our name sort of implies it's only faith based diversity, but mm -hmm. it's much more than that. It's race, it's gender, it's uh, sexual orientation, you name it. Uh, basically the notion that we are one community and that we bring everyone together and we help everyone realize how to break beyond their silos. And that's really why we're honoring Kimberly here because there's no one who embodies that, that mentality more than, than her. I mean, you're talking about someone who has prayed in Tibetan temples, someone who's been on Indian reservations, someone who's lived in Haiti to fight that plight. Um, she truly embodies somebody who goes beyond her world and realizes that being a citizen of the world is a better place to be. So you didn't tell us all of that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you didn't mention wow. any of that. Well, I didn't know that he knew all this about me. Wow. <laughs> what is it like for you to be the recipient of this award? It's such an honor. It's big honor. And when you said there's no one else that does, there are many, many people that have and that have come before me. I'm actually glancing at this list and there's some am amazing, incredible people who have received this award. So um, I feel like I'm in very good company. Um, and also it's humbling in a way. You know, I mean, when people say such great things about you, sometimes you tend to step back and reflect and say, is that really me? You know, so it, it's nice to be recognized by someone else other than the mirror. <laughs> and it's interesting, as you mentioned, how it's evolved over the years, how it started with uh, faith-based orientations, and now it's evolved into everything else. What do you think the current climate is in terms of you know, prejudices and whatever capacity they may fall? Well, it's a fascinating climate right now because I do believe, particularly in South Florida, more so than ever before, we live in such a diverse and wonderful uh, polyglot community where everyone is celebrating those differences. But simultaneously, I mean, we all watch the news. There's a lot of talk about how empathy may be lacking at times in our society and how our society desperately needs a new infusion of empathy. And we sort of see ourselves in the vanguard in that, in that fight mm -hmm. to, to reintroduce empathy to our children you know, at various stages of their matriculation all the way through being young adults. Because when you get them there and when you expose them to different aspects of life, that's where they really realize that diversity is not a scary thing. You know, when you have a vacuum of information about other cultures and other people, that's where fear takes over. And then that's where hatred comes over. Mm -hmm. But when you fill that vacuum with knowledge and when you fill that vacuum with experiences and you get to know that person and understand this person at, at his or her core is exactly like me. They have all the same concerns, the same insecurities, the same aspirations. Then you realize that common thread and that's how bonds form. 
Well, that's pretty amazing. So congratulations to you and good luck at the dinner. Absolutely. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. It, can, can people nominate recipients or how, do, how are they chosen? Yeah, they're chosen from the community. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the community can nominate and then our former recipients, so we'll be <laughs> tapping you next year, our former recipients as well as our board of directors goes through all the nominations the, committee, the community puts out and that's how we choose them. And the community puts in some excellent people. So to, to cull that down to five people is a real challenge. And how can people reach out to you? Oh, basically go to the MiamiCCJ.org. Okay, good answer. <laughs> Thank you both so much for being here. Thank it was you a very to much. Have you. Thank you. And congratulations again, Kimberly. Thank you.